Welcome to my channel. This is where you have lots of devotionals, Bible studies, and encouragement through your faith work. Now, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you soon. Hello, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Ifoma Samuel, and today is our day 127. We have been going through the Bible, okay? It's been a while, okay? And we've been on this journey. Now, for the gospel, I had said earlier that we'll truncate the videos so that we hit on a particular theme, seeing some of the stories are going to be recurring. Now, today we're looking at the book of Mark, chapter 4 and chapter 5. The theme of our discussion is reviving deadness. Hallelujah. Let's jump right into Mark, chapter 5, verse 22. Let's start from 22, okay? And then I would, yeah, I would have a brief discussion until we get to, the, um, to verse 42. And there, behold, uh, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and he saw him and fell at his feet. Now, this is Jairus coming to Jesus, and um, his daughter was really sick, and he was asking Jesus to come over and pray, okay? My daughter lies at the point of death. I pray thee, come lay thy hands on her. So for him, his faith was, if Jesus comes and lays his hand on her, she's going to be okay. That was his faith. That's okay. That's fine. That she may be healed and she shall live. And sorry, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him and much people followed him and thronged him. And well, along, with, along the way, a certain woman came and she had the issue of blood. She had suffered many things, okay, in the hands of physicians. She had spent all that she had. You know, when this kind of trouble comes, it, it comes not just to afflict the body. It comes to waste. Whatever it is, whatever finance that has been gathered, it comes to waste, to completely drain. Okay, and imagine if all that someone had acquired over the years is drained as a result of illness. So are you going through something similar? This is an encouragement for you. Verse 26 says she had suffered many things in the hands of physicians and has spent all that she had and had, and guess what? And um, was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. It got worse. There was no solution in sight. When she heard of Jesus, she came in. She came in the press behind. She came from behind and touched the hem of his garment and touched his garment. Verse 28, for she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Hallelujah. Now we're looking at two different people. A daughter at the point of death. Okay, Jairus' daughter at the point of death. And we see another woman whose situation is also there. If you know what it means to lose blood for 12 years consistently every day. That must have been insane, an insane experience. But she went through that. Not only did she go through that, she heard that Jesus was around and decided to give it another try. She didn't give up. She was looking for solutions. She had spent all that she had. And she said to herself, if I may but just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'm going to be fine. That is so much faith. So much faith. And the Bible says that straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up what wickedness the enemy did you know having a fountain now think about a fountain consistent flowing flowing away of blood jesus wow i thank god for that testimony that testimony as a woman i tell you i can tell you for free it, it, <laughs> what she went through wow it was it was a huge huge um disease whatever that was okay and Jesus knew that virtue had gone out of him. And then he asked, who touched me? It goes on to 34. And he said, daughter, thy faith made thee whole. Go in peace and be, and be whole of the plague. So it was a plague. The enemy does, does a number on, on, on God's people, you know. And um, it's an encouragement for us. No matter what seems dead or dying, whatever part of your body seems dying, don't give up on God. Yeah, physicians do their job. There's a place for, for medicine and technology and all of that. There's a place for all of that, good and fine. But 
there's a place for miracles. Do miracles still happen? Yes. Do miracles happen in this kind of situation where there is deadness? Yes. God is well able to meet you at that state where you are. He's able to bring back to life that which is dead and that which is dying. If we read further, you, you, you would find out that Jesus went into the house of, um, of Jairus. As soon as he heard the word, you know, you, you, they were like, oh, the daughter is dead. Don't even bother. What are you going to do? He said, be not afraid. Only believe. That's what Jesus said. He just turned to Jairus and he said, be not afraid. Only believe. Do you believe? Now, the question is, do we believe? It's one thing to read about all of these um, testimonies in the Bible, all of these uh, men of faith, women of faith. It's another thing for us to believe on these testimonies and walk in faith and not doubt if Jesus can do these miracles. Jesus can do well over. I've experienced it and I'm experiencing it. I know. Okay. I know for certain. Only believe. <laughs> Only believe all things are possible. Okay. Only believe. And guess what? Verse 39. Why make you so much noise? Why are you weeping? That's what you're saying. The damsel is not dead. She's sleeping. She's not dead. Verse 41, he goes on and he says, Talita kumi, which being interpreted means, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Hallelujah. So I pray in Jesus' name, whatever it is that is dead in your body, in your finance, in, around you, whatever it is that is dead or seem to be dying, and is as a result of the oppression of the enemy, I pray in the name of Jesus, Talita Kumi, just as Jesus said, I pray in Jesus' name, arise. I pray in Jesus' name, let there be life in Jesus' name. I pray for you going through a, a consistent flow out. Blood, okay? Look at, look at um, the Bible says in the book of Leviticus that life is in the blood. Imagine a woman losing life, you know, gradually seeping away. 12 years and if Jesus was able to do that because of her faith I pray for you listening to me in the name of Jesus whatever it is that is making you lose your life consistently that is making you that is flowing away okay like when something your essence is flowing away your light is flowing away whatever beam of light that God has given you is believing you I pray in the name of Jesus you are healed I pray in the name of Jesus that you are made whole that that source of dryness, that source of that source of deadness, that source of um, leaking away of life, in the name of Jesus, be arrested and be sealed in Jesus' name. I pray that God touches you and makes you whole again. Only believe. Don't forget. Only believe. All right. So thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Now, don't forget to click subscribe. If there's somebody that needs to listen to this one and get encouraged, feel free. To, you know share this video send them this video let them hear you okay let me know in the comments how this has been a blessing to you god bless you